In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use motion graphic titles in Premiere Pro. Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and here we are already in Premiere Pro 2023. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is just clicking new project. And if you want to download Premiere Pro from Adobe's website to go ahead and edit along with me, be sure to check the resource links in this video's description. So what I'm going to be doing is just naming my project LSPV117 Premiere Pro titles or motion graphic titles right and then we're just going to go down and click create all right so here we are in our blank workspace and the first thing i want to do is i want to come over here in my project window and create a new item which is a new sequence right because the sequence is the type of video that you want to create and in this case i want to create a 1920 by 1080 pixel video right so what i'm going to be doing is navigating to digital slr then go to 1080 then go to DSLR 30 frames per second. Uh, you can choose any one of, any one of these um, presets that you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and name my sequence LSPV117 Premiere Pro titles, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. So I have my sequence. Now I'm going to import my clip. I'm just going to go ahead and right click and then import. And here is my clip right here. And let me bring it into the timeline of the sequence that I made earlier or if you don't want to create a sequence and if you just want to work with this clip only in Premiere Pro, you can right click on it and click new sequence from clip, right? And here we have our video clip and it's a party scene of some ladies with champagne and this particular clip that you're seeing on screen now is one that I got from Envata Elements. You guys know I use Envata Elements all the time in my YouTube projects here and for my client work as well. And Envata Elements is the sponsor of today's video and we'll talk a little bit more about them later on. All right, so this is the clip that I'm going to be working with today and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Control and S to save my project. Now, this is a 4K clip, right? This is crisp and clean in 4K. And the next, what I want to do to use the motion graphic titles that I mentioned we'll be using earlier is I'm just gonna go ahead and switch my workspace to the captions and graphics workspace up here on top right and it's going to switch for me and now i can add the motion graphics template that i downloaded which is also from envata elements envata elements is a pretty cool source for us video editors right and to install them all you have to do is scroll down here to the bottom right of your essential graphics tab click on this install motion graphic template here is the 20 of them that i got and all you have to do is just click on one and then click open and it will install for you or if you have your folder open on your computer you can just click and drag and drop them in here inside the essential graphics tab and that will also install them right so what i'm going to be doing is just using a couple of them for the purposes of this tutorial and i'm just going to drag in let's drag in number one um let's drag in uh like number four and then number 12 we're just dragging in some random ones right and i'm just going to go ahead and hit ctrl and s to save my project right so remember if you're working with a 1080 project because remember earlier we created a 1080p project right you would probably have to scale these down because these titles that we got from envata elements they're in 4k and obviously that would be four times bigger than your 1080p project so all you have to do in that situation how you'd know if it's bigger than your project is if you were to come in here and then you'd realize that your title looks something like this right you know that is too big all you have to do is right click on click on set to frame size or scale to frame size right now let me just undo that by hitting ctrl and z and to know what you can do to change and adjust these titles to your liking is you look over here in essential graphics and you'll notice that it says edit right so we were browsing earlier nowhere under the edit tab when we select one of them see that and you can change the text here right it's just right party scene or anything you want to write and you'll notice that the box shrunk well it didn't shrink because it was small before but we added more text so all i would do next is go up here to scale box the box zero one and i'd adjust the x coordinates see that so we have x coordinates and y coordinates that we can adjust see that 
how cool is that and now when i go back to the beginning and press play you'd see that it's giving me a nice animation there right pretty cool and it also animates off screen let me just move this over you press play once more see that that is so so cool and it's animating off screen and all you have to do next is add some nice cool party upbeat music to this which you can also get from Envato Elements by the way I use Envato Elements for my music for all of my YouTube videos right now what you can do is you can shrink the duration of it by just dragging like so and shortening it and you'll notice that the animation time shrinks down right see that it animates quickly on and off the screen and if you expand it it will take a longer time on screen obviously right but if you were to cut it if you this pink layer here is our title if you were to cut the title here right let's move this away and you were to play it it wouldn't animate to the end it would just get cut off see that so try not to cut it off if you're shrinking it try to always just like drag it shorter or longer if you want right now let's go ahead and look at title number four let me just shrink this one down let's press title number four and see what we've got here see that how cool is that and you can add like effects to this you can add um drop shadows if you want you can change the color of the text let's write um party um let's write the party never stops right and then obviously that's a lot of text here see that it's getting cut off all right so what i'd have to do is adjust the text because as you can see it's getting cut off right so if you come over here in your essential graphics tab you also have controls over here in effects controls right they're much more minimized and then what i do is um i just come to scale text one because we have text one text two and text three because obviously there are three layers of text here and I'd find scale text one, right? And I'd size it down, see that? That way I can control the size, do the same for text two. I can make it smaller if I want, I can make it the same size, see that? Or if I were to adjust the text size because I have text controls here too, right? Let me reset this for you guys. Let me reset the scale here and let me just adjust the size of the text, see that? You can change the type of the text, the style of the text, Right now I'm on Montserrat. If I wanted to go to Gotham, I can do Gotham Black, right? If I wanted to go to um, Nexa, I can change it if I want. That's the amount of control you have here with these motion graphic titles from Envata Elements. Let me just undo all of that, Control and Z. And then let me just size down the text, size down the text. And then let me adjust the position like so, up closer same here right how cool is that and then i can move the entire thing over to the center some more because if i were if i were to turn on my safe margins you would see that this isn't centered right let me just shrink this so you can see this bigger right you'd see that the text isn't centered so what i do is i'd come back over here to my general um position information position coordinates with the title right here and i just adjust this right i just move it over that way it's in the center so when i go ahead now and press play you see that it pops up more center right how cool is that let's play it again see that very very nice now let's look at title 12 the third one that i dragged in let's just go ahead and just press play see that you have some the text is more, um, it's straighter than the previous two, right? See that? That is very cool. And obviously, you can click on this and edit it as you see fit. Now, let's say you want to save this clip for social media, right? All I have to do is go ahead and find the portion of the clip that I want. Let's say I want to save this portion here. I'll just go to the beginning, hit I on my keyboard to create an in point, then go to the end of the title, right? And press O to create an out point. And you can see right here, I have a highlighted portion. So when I go ahead and press play, it will be just that particular portion, right? But if I wanted to start a little bit sooner when the title comes on screen, I can just adjust. 
let me zoom in i can adjust the in point right so the title starts here let me adjust the in point to about here that way when i press play the title pops onto the screen right and all i have to do next is Control and s to save all that i just did then i can hit Control and m for my export module and i can select high quality um 1080p hd but this is a 4k clip so let's go ahead and choose high quality 4k but if you look right here you'll see some black bars which means the video isn't fully stretched right because the the, the clip size is a little bit different from the preset size so what i do is i'd open my video drop down here and just click match source right and there we have it if i were to press play now I would see that the video is filled on the screen, right? And all I have to do next is just go ahead and click export. And if I wanted to get more creative, you can change the color over here as well. You have all the controls that you need. See, we change that to yellow. If I wanted to change the color of text to, I could come here, change that to blue. See that I can even change the color of the box here with the V, right? I can change that to, let's do, pink right see that let's change the color of the v <laughs> to white see that and now you have something really really creative to work with right let's just undo all of that Control and z no we could not have done this without this awesome title pack that we got from envato elements with 20 titles as well as this crisp clean 4k party video clip that we got from them as well now as i mentioned i use envato elements every single day in creating these youtube videos as you can see and let's just say you want to try envato elements right you want to see what the hype is all about because the hype is real you can try envato elements free for seven days and within those seven days you can download unlimited stock videos like we used here today and unlimited motion graphics title packs and much more as you'd like all you have to do is click the first link in this video's description and when you fall in love with it you can get 70 percent off a month's subscription from envato elements by clicking the second link in this video's description remember that adding titles to your videos is only one aspect of creating awesome videos if you want to learn how to edit videos in premiere pro click or tap the screen right here to check out that video and thank you thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is c jam and i will see you guys in the next video